This is a gift from a friend of mine. He, he gifted me this cool ring. And what's cool about this ring is it's actually an illusion. And if you just give it a shake, uh, it turns into a square. How neat is that? Isn't that cool? Just another shake. And it's back into a circle. I could stare at this thing all day. If you guys want to check it out, feel free. I left the link below. It comes in this. It comes in one size. You can wear it and you can you can impress people with the ability to manipulate their objective reality. I don't know. Welcome to the video. We got stuff to talk about. Let's go. All right, so this is thousands of decks of cards that I have to sign. These are what the tuck cases look like. There you go. I got to sign like 2,000 of these. <sighs> Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's go. Bum, ba, da. Box number one. One down, only 1,999 left to go. I've done this many. I still have an entire box left to do, which is twice that amount. I've been doing this for about three hours, so I would say I have another five hours left, and they're all signed. Hopefully I won't develop carpal tunnel before all this is done. All right, finally done. Finished signing 2,000 decks. Gonna go ship these out. I've got some really cool things in the mail that I really wanna show you that I think you guys will find pretty dope. So let me go do that, and we'll reconvene here in a couple seconds. Here we go. This. So this is a table by an artist known as Felipe Pantone, I believe a Spanish artist, and he makes really, really cool digital art. This particular piece is called Subtractive Variability, and his Instagram is Configurable Art. This is a nice little piece. It's a round table, like an end table, uh, but it has a cool feature about it, which I'll show you in a second. So first, let's build it. Let's go. Subtractive variability. Really cool design. And so he incorporates a lot of like, a lot of digital art and colors into his work. And as you can see, which is really cool, as I start turning the discs individually, the whole table starts changing colors. Which is really neat. You kind of see it morphing in front of you slowly. How cool is that? This is gonna be something we're gonna use for product uh, photos and that type of thing. We have a Lazy Susan, which is like this little thing that spins around electronically when we put a product on it. Uh, but now we can use this for, for pictures, for the gram, all sorts of really cool things that we, can, uh, that we can use. And plus it changes colors. So depending on what color tone we're looking for. Very cool, if you wanna check him out, um, I'll, I left his link below his Instagram. You can check it out, some really dope art that he creates and, uh, and kind of magical as well. So anyways, I got another package from Art of Play. These are the brand new things that they're releasing during the holidays. Uh, they, it just came in today. I wasn't gonna review anything, but I thought we'd have a look and check out what's new from Art of Play. Plus we can put this table to good use. So let's check it out. This is a little package from uh, from my friends over at Art of Play. By the way, December 7th, they are doing their official grand opening of the Art of Play capsule in San Diego. What this is, is a physical store that Art of Play now has. And basically this is located inside a really sick hangar next to James Coffee in San Diego. So if you're in the area, December 7th, I will be there uh, hanging out with you guys. We're gonna do a signing, basically have a good time, solve some puzzles. I'll probably vlog it. So come hang out, come say hi, December 7th at the Art of Play Capsule, follow them on their Instagram for more details. So they sent me the brand new things that they're releasing, uh, I guess, over the holidays. I have no idea what these are. I opened the box, but haven't opened anything inside. So kind of feels like Christmas. Red bag came in. 
confetti. Ooh, that's cool. All right, so this we've had before. These are cool. These are like their little postcards. This I've been actually, I've been actually eyeing myself. Spin, spinning top. It's called Coma. And what's cool about this is kind of an illusion. I like this. I like that today's theme is all illusion based. So uh, what's up with this spinning top here is that when you spin it, the uh, when you spin it, those lines become invisible and it looks like a floating apostrophe. Apostrophe? Exclamation. <laughs> it looks like a floating exclamation. I'm gonna get destroyed in the comments. I'm just gonna try it out here. We'll try it on that little table actually. Oh wow, look at that. Neat spinning top indeed. What is this made of? I feel like this is made of plastic though. This isn't metal. Another spinning top to add to my collection. <laughs> now that I have a spinning top collection. Uh, I'm a grown man, by the way. I'm a grown man. I can collect spinning tops if I want to. This is cool. Look at the packaging on that. So Craig Hill Company, they're the company that, uh, they put out a few puzzles that I've reviewed in the past, such as the, I'm trying to remember the names, such as this one here that I'm about to open. How about that? I already have this one. I already did a video on it as well, but this is a mini version of the Jack Puzzle. It comes in a little bag as well, which is cool. <laughs> Look at that. Look how cute that is. So that's the mini Jack Puzzle. Uh, so it's a bird puzzle. This is uh, this comes apart and it puts back. It's a pain in the ass, not gonna lie, to put back together. The, it comes with instructions, but again, cool gift. And the fact that it's small probably means the price range isn't too pricey because normally brass puzzles get pretty expensive. So that's really cool. Love that for sure. What else? What else have we got? It's a big box. It's kind of fits with the theme of our table. Really dope. Nice little stamp there. Oh, sick. I'm I'm a sucker for stickers. Uh, we've also ordered a bunch of new stickers for First Dot Shop, uh, which will be coming soon, but check this sticker out. It's like a gold foil art of play leaf. Very dope. And check this out. Okay, there are a ton of decks in here. We got mystery decks, ladies and gentlemen. So every year, Art of Play sells these mystery decks, which uh, you can you can get a really rare deck in them, and uh, they come in this packaging. You don't know what you're gonna get, which is a cool gift for somebody who collects cards. I'll leave the link below to that. I'm gonna open a few. Should I open them all? I guess I open them all. I wonder if they've curated them for me and left me a surprise, or it's just random. What? What is this? That's a dope deck. I've never seen that before. Lady Moon. That is sick. Epiphanies await the curious mind. Nice little wax seals, by the way. Gotta appreciate the wax seal effort they put into that. That's cool. Oh, these are all new. Oh, Fulton's Casino. Love Fulton's. Look at that case. When are, we, when are we gonna get enough playing cards? Never. That's the answer. The answer is never. Never enough playing cards. Venture Onward. Oh, this is cool. This is their uh, Be Brave or Die. Uh, they had it in a black edition. I guess this is the red edition. I really like the gold and red. Gold foil against the red tuck case looks really dope. Literally feel like a kid. If you need to buy me a Christmas gift, you know exactly what to do. Messy mod playing cards. Kind of like an illusion themed back, I guess. Anything else? That's it? What? That's it? I'm just kidding. That's actually quite enough. <laughs> and lastly. Oh, that's sick. This is a wall display. Vimana for Art of Play. Uh, I'm gonna need 378 of these, please, Art of Play. Five decks fit perfectly. Can I get a fifth deck? Oh, Twine, you wanna toss me that deck that's on the table here? Yes, sir. And number six, look how nicely that fits in there. So this, I guess, gets hung up on the wall. Should we hang this up somewhere right now? I feel like we should. I feel like it's just not enough. <laughs> I've got deck displays absolutely everywhere in this office. I mean, one more is not gonna hurt. Oh, it stands up. Look at that. You can even zoom in there, Lee, if you wanna zoom in. You can pan up if you want to. You can focus if you're feeling it. That's pretty cool. That works. That's all I wanted to say. The only last thing I wanna say is this is the last video before first playing cards V3. First playing cards V3 go on sale at first dot shop, links below. It's gonna be noon Eastern time and the price is staying the same what we've contemplated because we put a lot more work into this one. We bought the brick box, which is really cool. Actually, I'll show you a brick box right now. You wanna pass me a brick box, please? So uh, these are the brick boxes. So this actually cost me a little bit more money to get to have produced. Thing is like, I'm I'm just a, I'm, I'm a sucker for quality. I'm a sucker for good design, uh, but I also don't want you guys paying 20 bucks a deck. So uh, we're gonna keep it at 15 and that is that. If you buy an entire brick like this, these are limited to a few thousand. 
and uh, after that they'll be sold out but if you buy one of these if you're one of the early birds you get a signed deck and it will be signed underneath the cellophane so underneath the plastic and I think that is really pretty also we're gonna be doing a deck review on first playing cards v3 so the first deck review you'll ever see on YouTube about the v3 will be up on Monday if you're interested to see what they're about before you pull the trigger stay tuned for Monday and uh, and we'll get that knocked out but anyways guys have a safe and happy weekend happy Thanksgiving to my friends south of the border and we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Rock.